This is Hydrogen Tap 1. What I'm going to do is show you the Series 3L, all the parts that I have put to put the unit together. I received a letter asking me to do this. I know what they meant was to label everything. I don't have the time right now to do it, but I will put up on my website and do that for you. That's a sealant that goes on the bottom of the 3L. The top of the 3L system is not sealed. These are the plates that I have to cut out. They're clear plastic. Right now they're covered with a paper that comes from the manufacturer. I have to get that plastic in about six foot lengths and they have to be cut. I cut that. You can see all the parts involved in that. Those are the rods. There are two rods there that's cut in half to make four. I received one particular letter that said that due to the fact that I'm not publishing all the letters, his in particular, that give you other websites to look at better equipment that I'm doing everybody a disservice. Maybe he's right. So keeping this in fact up there, I decided I will publish all the letters, whether they refer you to other sites or not. My intent is not to hog any particular market. Here's a picture of the tubes I use. That's the way it comes from a person, a lab that cuts them for me at $9 a pop, just recently charging me $5 a pop to cut it. That piece of plastic that you hear, see there that I use for the tops and bottoms cost about $3 a pound. What I'm going to do is show you my lab as it is. This lab is a collection of a lot of years. Every time I can scrape together some money, I buy some new equipment. That's a drill press that has been the best thing I've ever bought. These bits right here are actually plain. They make holes in the plastic top. You can see them there. So they don't split the plastic. Show you some of my equipment here. I don't think anybody has been as open with what they're doing as I have. I really don't understand some of these letters. But to diffuse the situation, I will publish them unless the letters are derogatory in some sense of the mean, or they're mean-spirited. If you want to talk about other sites, fine, go ahead. The reason I didn't want to publish the other sites was because I figured this was a site that I designed to show what I'm doing. I didn't think it was right to be using my site to push people to other sites. I haven't been flaunting anything. What I've been doing is trying to get people around me, like myself, so we could build this together. One of the letters I received mentions the fact that I'm making profit on what I'm selling. Yes, I am making a profit on what I'm selling. Right now, the cost, which I'm buying everything retail, is running around $75, and probably looks like it's going to be running about $85 in parts. So I'm selling a unit for 200 and I'm putting in $85 myself. That's not including the labor in the time. I'm trying to get other people to cut some of these parts for me, but give you an idea of what costs are for someone to cut those plates, which I showed you. The plates for the system, they want around eight 
$8 a plate to cut them out, precision cuts, so they say. Well, there's 15 plates in the system. You can imagine how much money that would cost if I was to do that. What I'm doing here is showing you my lab. These are all the scopes I use. Some of them are really old. I gather everything I can find because I am not rich by any stretch of the imagination. These are the chargers. I told you I use two chargers to keep the system running, which barely charges units quick enough to run the Series 3L. 3L, we're talking about 30 amps. With these two chargers running on it, it generally keeps the, char the system at about 12 or 13 volts, which you've seen in the videos. It needs to be about 18 volts with charge. Each one of these units actually I do use. That's a real old system there. And my parts. One of the things this gentleman did mention that if people wanted to put them together, I should allow them to do that. And he said that most people would probably opt out and get me to sell them my system. He's probably right in keeping in mind I've been wrong before. This is what I'm doing. You would recognize these things I've put together. My lab has got hanging equipment all over it. I'm giving you some idea how it works. Magnets are holding those to the ceiling. That's a hollow tube. You can see my lab is very small. It's a one-man lab. I have a chair in the center that when I feel like sitting, I sit, which isn't very often. This is a, a band saw, which I use to cut the plates out or I should say I'm using to cut the plates now to make them much, much better. The plates I'm using at this point, a 0 0.028 thickness is pretty thick. If you feel you want to cut plates out, try it. I've cut, got cuts all over my hands. These are more batteries I use for testing, the 6 and 12. 